Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Um, as you can see, I'm sweating like crazy. I just got done at the gym, and uh, it's it's been very hot here in Arkansas. Um, today we were up to like triple digits on our uh, weather, so I'm sweating like crazy. It's very very humid out here, but I'm gonna try to get this video done for y'all because I've been needing to do this video. Uh, this really isn't a, a fishing video or a gun talk video. This is just me updating you guys on what's been going on. Because I know in the last few videos, I'm always telling y'all that the reason um, I haven't had a chance to get out and fish is because I've been really busy. And I've always been saying that uh, work was that reason that I was busy. So I've been saying in my videos that I will let you guys know what I was doing so that way it doesn't look like or seem like I'm just not putting out a lot of videos and I'm telling you all the time when I do uh, mainly my monster bass videos that I'm always busy and that's why I haven't got out on the water. So here it is me letting you guys know what I have been up to and why I haven't uh, put out that many videos especially uh, in the last spring and during uh, the summer. So. Okay, I'm gonna try to get this done guys before this mosquito start killing me out here so uh, last year um, I took over as the coach for the trap team at the school that I'm the SRO at so that took up most of my weekends during the spring and that's why I didn't get to fish as much as I like to uh, I had a few issues with my boat mainly um, uh, the tournament I did back in like March, as soon as I got back home, um, I had a blowout. And I had to limp the boat back into the yard. Um, it took me a while to get some new tires, and then it took a while to get the tires mounted onto the rims. But by the time I did that, uh, springtime was rolling around. We were getting into trap shooting. And uh, so every weekend... I was meeting up with my kids from the school to take them out to a gun range where we could practice our trap shooting. So that's what took up most of my spring. Summer rolls around. Uh, we took our family vacation, the one I told you guys about where we went to DeSoto, uh, Missouri. And, you know, I told you about everything, me using the whopper plopper and all of that stuff. Well, this is what took up most of my time during the summer. So as soon as we got back, from that vacation that following Monday I was enrolled in a class uh, if any of you don't know uh, what alert is of alert is advanced law enforcement uh, crap I feel so bad now that I can't even tell you what it stands for um, but alert is the group uh, they're out of uh, Maxwell Texas it is a group made up uh, it was started by uh, former uh, Texas police officers after the uh, Texas University shooting I think it's more famously known as the Texas Tower shooting but after that a group of officers who got together formed this group uh, the governor of Texas at that time said he wanted to a group put together to study this stuff and also put out training and you know for years the protocol for for law enforcement has always been your patrolman that was it they patrolled uh, your SWAT teams are tactical teams they dealt with all of the tactical stuff so for several years patrol officers were never taught any kind of real tactics you know you were you were given your basic firearm training and you were taught how to patrol the streets make traffic stops and all of that stuff all the tactical stuff was left up to the SWAT teams so for the longest the uh, protocol was always when you have um, active killer situations going on uh, the patrol guys they put in the call they form a perimeter and then you wait for the SWAT teams to come in and do SWAT team stuff God, these mosquitoes are already getting bad fast forward a few years we've had multiple multiple um, shootings Columbine uh, here in Arkansas, everybody knows the Jonesboro shooting, but it was really in a small town called Bono. But the biggest uh, town next to it that was equipped to handle that stuff was the Jonesboro PD. 
And so that's why everybody always calls it the Jonesboro shooting. But um, nonetheless, active shooter situations, which we have kind of got away from calling active shooter because it doesn't always involve a firearm. But this group alert, uh, they teach um, different tactics. And it's not even so much like it's a SWAT team thing. They don't teach you how to be a tactical guy. Uh, when you go to these classes, they already assume that the individual students already have these tactics. They're now teaching you how to um, go into these situations uh, with as a single officer if need be. But if you have two or three other officers and you might be coming from different agencies, how those officers can link together, form a, um, an ad hoc team, or basically where you have um, different officers from different uh, agencies, but you can get together, form a tactical team, and go in and clear the rooms and buildings, find the suspect, uh, neutralize suspect, and save lives. So, I mean, that's basically what their, their whole thing is. Stop the killing, stop the dying, and then uh, mass casualty evacuation. So, uh, when we got back from Missouri, I was enrolled in one of those classes. Um, and I took that class. I did pass. So, I am now a certified instructor for Alert to teach one of their classes. Right after that, um, I... Uh, I was basically I helped I didn't really help out but I was a part of some training um, that we did with the school so that's two weeks back to back where I've had training right after that I went back to patrol and that you know it took up a lot of my time because on top of patrol I still have a lot of stuff going on here at the house so um, that was what was going on um, right before my summer ended I attended another alert class their level one training which again goes into um, just basically how to get inside of a building where there is an active killing situation going um, how to locate that suspect neutralize that suspect and then if there are any casualties how to stop the dying. Uh, a big part of that is learning some basic um, tactical first aid. And so that's what I've been doing. Uh, a big reason, a big part of all of that, uh, when I went through the uh, police academy back in 2012, one of our guest instructors when we were on the gun range for our range week, uh, his name is Chief Travis Henson. He's the police chief for um, Truman PD here in Arkansas. And uh, he, he had a saying. And that saying has stuck with me all of those years since 2012. You learn one, you do one, you teach one. Okay? With that, you learn a, a skill. You do that skill, you practice that skill, you try to perfect that skill. In the profession of law enforcement, and this probably could go for any profession at that, when you learn a skill and you get really good at it, don't be selfish and just hold on to that information and that knowledge. Pass it on to the next group of people who will be coming up behind you. At some point, you will be uh, retiring out of your profession, out of your field, and it's, it's not going to benefit anybody in the future if you just hold on to that information and that skill set. So, especially for law enforcement, um, everything is always changing around us. So, as you learn something, you, you need to practice it and make it as perfect as you can. But then at some point, you need to pass that information on. Um, I've been in law enforcement almost 15 years now as a certified, um, as a certified instructor. I've been in law enforcement almost uh, 12 years if you count the uh, the years that I was a, a corrections officer, or not really a corrections officer, but a uh, but a jailer, I've been in law enforcement almost 15 years. I think I have reached a point where I have a lot of things that I have learned over my time that I that needs to be passed on. I don't say that I, I could; it needs to be passed on. So that's where I'm at now. I'm taking classes with Alert. Um, I recently took one of their classes online. 
that is based for uh, teaching civilians how to react if they are ever in a active killer situation. Um, and I took that class. It's one of their online classes. I took it. I did pass. So I'm certified in that class as well. Um, in the future, here soon, I will be getting that information put up on our uh, sheriff's office uh, website if we got one. I know we have a, a Facebook page. I will be getting with my supervisors to get that information on there. So if you are in the area of Hot Spring County, Saline County, and I'm pretty sure I'll be doing some traveling going other places, which I'm fine with that, um, I'll get that information on there where uh, I can teach those classes. Uh, you can also go to the alert website. I'll leave that link down below, alert.org. Search for the classes. If you have, a, if there is a class in your area, uh, you can sign up for it. Um, if you know somebody, get with them, and they can set up a class specifically for you. Like I said, the class that I just took, there is civilian response to active, uh, active killer situations. Um, it's a class basically designed for uh, schools, churches, uh, commercial businesses and stuff like that uh, we can uh, set up those classes to where we can come in and talk to you guys also we can do some uh, simulation training because even though you go through the class uh, the best training that alert offers is when you do a lot of the uh, simulation training where they use uh, sim guns with sim rounds sim bullets so you actually get that stimulation of being shot at and it helps that information really sink in and really stick with you. So again, you can go on their website, alert.org, sign up for those classes, or if you know somebody in your area, uh, they can come to you and put those classes on. Uh, their other classes are specifically designed for law enforcement, firefighters, and EMS personnel. So for my brothers and sisters that are in those fields if you're law enforcement um, EMS fire department even some military uh, you guys should really look on that alert.org and sign up for those classes there's, there's a lot of information that will help uh, a lot of the guys who teach the alert classes have said that um, after they've taken the classes maybe two days later they actually had an incident in their area in their jurisdiction and all of that training that they had just learned it like came back to them instantly and they were able to perform everything and they probably either averted um, a really bad active killing situation or they stopped it before they sustained a lot of casualties so this is some really good information I am like super excited and pumped up about this uh, one of the classes that I did take I'll go ahead and tell you guys, I, I didn't pass. I, I dropped the ball on, on, a, on some things. Um, I've been in contact with that instructor uh, that did that class. He is encouraging me to, to try that class again, which I have planned on doing that. I've already been looking to see when the next class is going to be in my area. But uh, it's, it's a really good class, a lot of good information. And you really do meet a lot of good people. It's a good networking. Um, so what this is going to boil down to, uh, what does that mean for me in the future? Uh, not a whole lot, but then at the same time, a whole lot. Uh, what I mean by not a whole lot, I am going to try to do better on getting my videos and not just my monthly monster bass videos, but, uh, getting back out in the boat and doing some of my, um, uh, my setup videos where I talked about my my different setups for the different fishing techniques that I like to do, what all I've got set up in my boat, uh, just different maintenance on the boat, um, getting back to talking about different casting styles and techniques and such, as well as more of my uh, gun talk videos going over some of that stuff. Um, I'm in the process of getting access to a gun range, so I will be getting out and doing some live fire stuff for you guys. Uh, so basically when I say not a whole lot, I'm going to do better about um, getting more videos put out for you guys. But at the same time, what I mean by this is going to be a lot more changes. I have already decided that at some point, 
when I get the the classes that I want to take to be a trainer. I don't. I didn't make that clear to you guys. I, the classes that I was taking with Alert is for me to be a trainer. I will be an instructor to teach these classes. So after I get enough of the classes that I think will help me and benefit me as far as me being in law enforcement, um, after I get enough training hours, I am going to apply for a basically like a full-time training spot with Alert. Uh, the way they do that is I still get to stay here in my state where I live, but when Alert is putting on a class, if they need a lead instructor or anything like that, um, I could be called to teach those classes. It's some possibilities of traveling to other states, uh, but it would be like my full-time job at that point. So... My plan is, at that point, is to get enough training hours to where I can apply to be what Alert has. Um, they're called adjunct instructors, where I can apply to become an adjunct, adjunct instructor, uh, do some training. Um, that is a paid spot with Alert. But then I would uh, like to uh, step down from full-time law enforcement to do uh, part-time. Uh, my plan is... To continue as the SRO at the school that I'm currently at and then during the summer when school is out hopefully be able to travel and put on classes for alert and even if I'm just right here in my own state doing classes that's fine with me but I would like to do that because I have like grown really really attached to this uh, the alert programs um, I believe in what alert is teaching and what they're putting out this stuff works uh, you know, if you don't believe in it, then at least take the classes and see what they're teaching. But after I took that first class and I saw what was going on, it was like a huge eye opener to me. And so I believe in what Alert is putting out. And that's why I'm trying to go full force and put everything into this to become an instructor uh, for Alert. As well as I'm getting ready. Next week, I will be going back to the police academy to take their firearms instructor class. So my plan is to also uh, do some concealed carry classes as an instructor for that. Um, I'm really looking towards the future on retiring from my full-time law enforcement. Like I said, I would like to stay as an SRO with my sheriff's office at the uh, school that I'm currently at. And that would give me a chance to get out and do more fishing and other things as well as spending more time with the family. Um, my oldest daughter, she has graduated from high school. Um, we're still trying to work out what her plans are as far as the future. Uh, my other two daughters, I've got one in high school. One of them is on her last year of elementary. Next year, she'll be in middle school. So um, trying to figure out some plans to spend more time with the kids and really starting to slow down and, and get ready for some retirement. With that being said, I'm not looking to retire in the next five years, guys. Um, I am only 39 years old. I am not old. I still plan on doing some uh, door kicking for a couple more years. But I am looking towards the future, and, and right now I think my future is pointing towards alert. Uh, as I said, you learn one, do one, teach one. So I am really looking to the teaching aspect of teaching this information and hoping to build up the next group of warriors here in Arkansas. Um, there, there's a lot of evil out here, guys. A lot of evil. A lot of people doing evil things. And the only way to combat that evil is you, you've got to have men and women who have the nerves and the fortitude to, to face that evil and do what's right. Um, as Edmund Burke says, uh, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men, I'm going to change that up a little bit. Uh, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men and good women to do nothing. So with alert, hopefully I can teach a lot of good men and good women how to face that evil. And uh, as uh, instructor, instructor Mike Davenport, we got to protect our precious cargo. What is that? Family, friends, loved ones, your community. When you uh, apply for that department that you work at, you swear an oath to uh, support and defend the Constitution of the United States as well as the state constitution you live in. But you also promise 
the citizens of your jurisdiction that you will protect them. And so this information that alert is putting out, I, I do believe it will help the generations to come of men and women who put on a uniform to protect our precious cargo. So guys, I just wanted to let y'all know what has been going on with me, why I've been saying that, uh, whenever I said I was busy, I didn't want y'all to think I was just blowing smoke up you guys, but, but my summer has been super busy. I'm still, like I said, about to go down now, uh, next week, Monday is day one of this class to be a firearms instructor. This is a certification that I have been trying to get for many years since I've been in law enforcement. I'm just now getting the chance to go do this, so I'm hoping that I can knock it out of the park, uh, come back home as a certified firearms instructor. I mean, that way I can teach the next group of guys that will be coming up in my sheriff's department as well as uh, anybody in the state. Arkansas is a constitutional carry state. Uh, you don't have to have a concealed carry card to carry a gun. However, I do think it's a good idea that you do get some firearms training. It's never enough to just go out, buy a gun, stick it on your hip, and then say, all right, I'm good to go. These, This ain't those days anymore, guys. If you're going to go out here and buy a gun that you're going to carry for personal protection, you need to get training. If you don't get training from somebody, I highly suggest you watch a lot of videos on YouTube. I put out videos, but I get a lot of my information from other YouTube videos such as uh, Tactical Rifleman, uh, Ronin Tactics, um, Haley Strategic. Those are just a few, and the reason I named those three, um, all three of those guys are former military guys, former career military guys. So any training that those guys are going to talk to you about, weapons man manipulations, uh, shooting, anything like that, it's all coming from a combat um, standpoint. These are things that these guys did while in service, in combat, overseas, and it saved their lives. It saved their buddies' lives. So I like to get a lot of my information from them because it's been tried, it's been tested, and it worked. So those are at least three names that I can think of right there that would help you guys. Again, that is Tactical Rifleman, Ronin Tactics, and Haley Strategic. I will either link their videos down below or I'll put one of the little cards up here for you to click on to check out any of their videos and stuff like that. But again, guys, I just wanted to let you guys know I wasn't blowing smoke up your guys' butts. I have been super, super busy. I apologize for that. Uh, hopefully, here in the next few months, um, I got to do some work over here on my driveway where my truck is at because when it rains, my truck starts to spin out and it's been digging ruts and it's a pain in the butt trying to get the boat in and out with those ruts. So once I can get that filled in, figure out something so it doesn't spin out on me when it rains, I'll get out on the water. I will get more videos for you guys and I'll try to pump out more content for you. But I wanted you guys to know what's been going on and uh, where the future of Outdoors with Creed was heading. Unfortunately, I can't put any of the videos um, from the alert classes that I'll uh, be teaching. But please, 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 anybody out there, uh, church security, um, schools, uh, businesses, please go on that alert.org. Sign up for their craze class, C-R-A-S-E. That is civilian response to active killing or active shooter. Uh, please sign up for that class because there's a lot of information that uh, people don't realize that they their bodies will go through in the moment of an active shooter or active killer situation. So please take those classes. And again, for my law enforcement, my EMS and firefighter guys, there is a class on there. It's their uh, AIR class, A-A-I-R, Advanced Attack Integrated Response that is a good class that really shows how law enforcement, firefighters, and EMS work together as one unit, basically, to uh, to save lives. Because that, that is the basis for this alert. How do we save lives? So, again, go on those classes and sign up. Or as soon as I uh, get the information from my sheriff to put it on our uh, Facebook page, if you're in the Arkansas area, go on there and check out Hot Spring County uh, Sheriff's Office and sign up for that craze class 
uh, the air class that I'm also an instructor of. All you got to do is go on the uh, alert class and, and try to set it up and or sign up for one of the classes and I hope I'll be there to share what I what I have learned with you guys. Uh, so that's all I got guys. I, I, again, I'm sorry I haven't been putting out a lot of videos and content but I've been super busy. Hope you guys understand why and I appreciate everybody who has uh, supported my channel. I appreciate those who are still supporting my channel. Uh, I think I'm at like a hundred 45 subscribers so how about whenever we get to 250 sound like a good number we get to 250 um, I think what I'll do is when we get to 250 I think I will do a monster bass giveaway and then if I can get to or no how about this we get to 250 I will do a six gill giveaway where I will send you uh, one of their new cyclone reels I'll go ahead and add the uh, uh, ceramic uh, bearings and if I can get to 300 subscribers I'll give away a platinum monster bass box how about that so if we get to 250 guys if I can get up to 250 250 subscribers I'll give away a cyclone reel from six gill if I can get to 300 subscribers hi and if I can get to 300 subscribers then somebody will win a platinum series monster bass box so make sure you guys click the subscribe button uh, make sure you click the bell and click all so you get notified every time I do a video if you guys like this video please smash that thumbs up button drop comments and let me know uh, what you guys think uh, let me know how I'm doing so far guys I really need to know um, are these videos good or keep it real guys do y'all think I should stop or do you think the videos are doing good so again, smash the thumbs up button if you like the video. Uh, leave me some comments. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you are signing up for the um, the, uh, the giveaway. So how I'm going to do that, uh, if you guys remember the last time uh, from my old members, I had the little app that had the little wheel. I'll add your name on there. I'll hit the button to spin it. And when it spins, whatever name it lands on, that's who will win. I will contact you uh, by sending you a email, letting you know um, what your uh, that you won. And what I will need is a full name and uh, your address, so I can uh, put in that order and get that stuff shipped to you. If you would, whenever you guys uh, send your messages, let me know. Uh, you know, I know you guys are going to use your uh, whatever your screen names is and stuff on, on on YouTube. So if you would, with your screen name, also put your full name and then in like put giveaway on there. So I know you're signing up for the giveaway, so I can add you. I will message you back um, on the content thing. To let you know that you have been added to the wheel and that you have been entered for the giveaway so again when you put your name on there uh just put on there somewhere entering for the giveaway and just put your uh first and last name excuse me if i message you and let you know that you're the winner i will need your full address i will message you first so we can talk so i can make sure that i am getting the right person so again that's all i got guys thanks for watching and I hope to see you guys somewhere, either on the gun range, in the classroom, or in the great outdoors. Until next time, guys, be safe.